Vipers all event long. The wall going in B, the smoke to block vision. Puts a lot of pressure on Baby J, but the action is coordinate around them, make these fights really impossible. And that's a great find there from Baby Bay. Just trying to look for some information, able to catch another into the poison orb, getting close here. Brilliant stuff from Raucus, able to convert against the Proto. One more to go. Can that spike get planted? Absolutely not. It's looking quite difficult here and indeed. Oh. Behind the plant post there, and that's a very good find by Cora. Here he has a star on the ground. They might have to walk through the smoke, but they're hitting very good timing right now, Dan. Oh, ban checks for it too. There's no sight. Okay, See now, Proto. This is where he shines on this lurk. You won't find him opening rounds very often, but these scenarios, he feasts on these mid game rounds. Yeah, this is this is a really. I mean, it's a really interesting round in the sense that. We didn't see anything special from Luminosity, really. We saw them tr try to just pressure that A main. Uh, so, sorry, the A ramp control in the sights, and LG just had such a good read. Oh my god. Oh, the reset into this B split. We'll have to see if it works out here. There is a defense in the mail. There's Zachary gets the first on the transfer coming through, but it's actually Baby Bay with the support from up high to get the hold going here for phase and it's going to be a difficult situation to actually convert off of this spike plant there's a 4v3 in favor of the retaking players but that said dazzle with this flank finds great timing coming in and that's going to cause havoc here for phase unable to cobble anything together that coordination they were looking for completely split up and broken by that initial flank of dazzle and the flanker is to be flanked oh, but no, doesn't no, matter no. Corey with the whiff it's going to play aggressive on the ramp that's that's a big find. The gravity well when entering this A site. So you can see they're trying to just speed it up. A nice schedule coming through from Raucus. That might make things a little bit difficult here now from Luminosity, who had so many advantages coming into this one at the start. But now it's a man advantage playing in favor of FaZe. And you can see things slow down a little bit here. Raucus has all the time in the world to work his way around screens, finds the back of Tig, and now Dazzle and a Proto for Luminosity are in a very dangerous and desperate position. Baby Bay now picking off a Proto, leaving just Dazzle. And Dazzle, his position's now known, and Baby... Now it's the case of... And, I mean, this is just totally locked down. I don't know how you'll deal with this, never mind. Dazzle, as I say that, is going to shoot Raucus in the face with the Sheriff. So there's the answer, apparently. And Corey's going to be just out there in the open. Have to be careful, confident in his aim. But, Sean, I am worried here. Both teams are giving up a lot of these individual fights against Sheriffs. Yeah, and, and more importantly, your boy Dre getting, getting his opening into the game. He was so quiet, and normally he is an absolute stud when you watch the scene play. And here we are, we've got the attack coming through onto the sights. Doesn't feel like there's a lot that can be done here due to the numbers disadvantage, but we'll see. Baby Bay is going to take down Tig, a very aggressive position, and that does make life a lot easier here for FaZe. Two versus three coming in, both from male. Ooh. And there goes the lockdown up the rope, though, for the trade. Zachary now on this 1v2, looking for the clutch. As information on one player at back site. Doesn't know where Ban is, though. Ouch, should, but there's the paranoia. That's going to, of course, kill the sound here for Zachary, making life quite annoying. But just running his spray Ooh. is going to do the damage. If Zachary pulls out the classic, has to tap the spike, has to create the presence. Oh, suggest that he's defusing, and that's going to be good for the classic frag. And is there enough time here? It's going to be extremely close. Zachary, oh my god. <laughs> Definitely problematic here for the defenders for phase. We'll see what they do here. There comes the rocket straight away in mid. They just love taking these fights, and it's going to work out this time. Actually converting a four versus, or converting into a four versus three off of that mid aggression. I mean, finally, we're seeing it pay off a little bit more here for phase. Doesn't look like they're done here because Baby J <laughs> is aggressive here as well with the support of Baby Bay. Oh my. Well, Whoa! One enemy remaining. Push coming through to the A side now. It's, it's possible that they can for their opposition. And so everything they practice, like that, everything they practice just goes out the window. They, the way of entering the site, no longer possible.
Oh yeah, they're so T. They, they're just holding position. They've got to push through to ropes right now. Tig defending the challenge, the info play from Corey, and that's going to create some space here. We'll have to see if this flank's going to be good for much as we have Dazzle working his way again. Has been great on these timings. That's one. Baby Bay goes down with that Sheriff in hand. The second one for Dazzle. Faze are going to make it as tough as possible for Luminosity to gain ground, but they are gaining ground into the site. So many players committed to defending up high that there's nobody on the B side itself. And there's the Viper Pit coming out to make this even more difficult on the retake. But you know what? There's a numbers advantage coming in now for FaZe as they start to set up that retake. And it's going to be a backside B as well as possibly B main hit. Oh, Corey going in with the satchels though. Oh dear, Can that's a trip anybody? on the ground right there. Oh, that's very smart. He breaks the trip with his satchel, and now he's just waiting. Oh, oh. <laughs> it pays off as well. Fantastic find. The pressure comes through. It's just down to Tig now in the back of the site. Tig gets one. The second one coming through as well. Dodging back behind the Viper's Pit. Making it a guessing game here for Baby J. Oh, sprays randomly. Finds the headshot. Cool round to watch. Yeah, it, this is such a battle of styles right now, and I... Ooh. Really get the sense that FaZe is so comfortable. And we have this mid push coming through from Luminosity. We haven't seen too much of this. FaZe will be so dominant. And the timing, oh. beautiful. Off the sound cue. Baby Bay is able to escape there with the updraft and the cloud burst. They're looking at Baby J, but it's Baby Bay that peaks from Mail. And you know what? Luminosity will actually convert some of these frags. Committing up to mid. I like this. Uh oh. Rockets. <laughs> Ready with the judge, though. Surely not. Oh, this is so winnable for Corey. Wow. Just as you say it, Sean. What it's, a uh, <laughs> The round is... Yeah, this, he was playing the lurking role over towards the B side of the map. And we get a methodical click. Great use of the boom ball there. Oh, but here comes Baby Bay, the updraft, able to pick off one. Cloudburst prevents any movement here for Luminosity up into that A heaven position. Rez comes through as well. What's Baby Bay going to do? He's still holding on to this upper position, but he has to take some peeks. He has to get some fights. There goes the drive-by with the blaze. There goes Baby J as well with the Sheriff. The up drop comes through. It's up to the classic. It's not going to do the damage, though. And it's looking like FaZe are running out of steam in this position. But, oh, Corey turns up, gets a double, and they're straight back in this one. Now Raucous going forward with the Vandal collected one, but I left in the... Oh. Up to Baby J, and it's Dazzle with the TP. <gasps> oh, it's a oh. fake! Oh, baby, 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 Jason! We're gonna get the mid aggression again. We get play around a main, which Zachary is gonna win that, that duel against Tig. And, I mean, are we gonna see Luminosity slow things down? No, of course not. <laughs> we get options here in mid because Baby Bay's still fighting. He'll get taken down. The rocket to slow things down. Corey, again, you talk about Corey's aim. The ADS comes through as well. You know that he's hungry for more here. He's got assistance. Oh. There's the oh. transfer, makes it! So these guys are gonna have a slow rotate this round. Yeah, there goes the, the boom bot. Nice shot from Corey again. We talk about that aim. Even though, like, the first thing we saw from Corey this game was a whiff, you can see that that's quickly, like, normality is quickly restored there. Nice kill from Raucous as well, catching Tig going for an info play into mid. So, group spread of players, and they're wow. challenging Zach. Wild. Oh, this is quite scary. And uh, it's going to get taken down by the nice dash up drop play coming in from Baby Bay. Up on the high ground with that stinger. So it's looking actually like we're going to have a pretty good result here for FaZe. They lose two players on the entry, but they have the entry. Spice down on the site. They don't seem to care. They are pushing for the frags here. And I don't know if that's going to work out. Baby Bay has... Oh, this is so dangerous. He gets traded. It's just Corey left here. Sheriff in hand. It's a nice shot, but... I like it pretty exciting. Ooh, look at Bango creeping behind the wall here. Ooh. Oh, it's worked out nicely. Dazzle in mid as well. LG getting all the kills. Just Corey left. Close range. There's one. Has the Phantom. Paint shells refreshed here. Corey with another swing. Another 1v1 possible here. Paranoid comes through. Corey challenging. Gets a second. Not time to swap out the gun though. Space created here. He's, he's actually created a huge amount of space. Might actually convert. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Shoots the rocket just before the swing comes through from your boy Dre. Follows that one up very nicely, taking down Baby J and Ban as well. Finding good timing coming up from the stairs. And this has really made things quite awkward for FaZe. Still trying to gain ground onto the site. They've got that Be Heaven control, but the spike's actually down in mid. So someone actually has to go and grab that. 
And maybe they don't. Maybe Zachary just kills everybody. That's that's a good way to get back into this one. It's just gunfights. I don't think the spike really matters. Crosshair placement here. Oh, it's good, but a proto mission. We'll have to see what he's able to do. Dazzle's trying to assess the situation here. That cosmic divide, obviously, you know, muffling the sound behind the wall. Great first engagement from Dazzle. Able to actually survive and hold onto screens. So the question now is, okay, FaZe are going to get this spike planted, but what is the post-plant positioning? They're losing all positioning. There goes the paranoia. The spike is down, but they have to just fight backs against the wall. Zachary forcing the fight around elbow. And now it's up to Raucus. It's a nice double, but it's just too many players. Keep, keep being them. Keep running Ooh. it down. Yeah, I don't... Jason gonna get caught doing that though. Yeah, I think they might slow it down a little bit, but that kill in the extremity is gonna force them into something super quick. No one knows about this right now from LG. No one can even hear this. No one hears that smoke. Oh, that's a flick in the heart from Van finding that headshot. It's gonna be able to hold things down though with the support of Tig backside delaying, delaying. Zachary with 10 seconds left to get this spike planted with the assistance of Baby Bay. It's going to be a tough one, but there's just enough time. Baby Bay will lock that one in. We've got a forward fight here being looked for by Zachary through spawn. This is a huge moment here for FaZe. Pulls out the ADS and makes it happen. Three health left. Baby Bay with that operator. Backside now has to hold it by himself. We'll have to see what he can do here. Not too much utility to work with. Has to connect the shots. There's nowhere to escape after this first shot. Hits it through the corner of the wall. And Zachary holds it in spawn. Of expectation now to Luminosity. The Cosmic Divide comes through as well. And oh, the challenge oh. straight away from Tig. It's not going to bode well though. Oh, Dan, this is something they've been, Faze has been doing, right? They use the Cosmic Divide and they Viper ult the other side of the Cosmic Divide. What usually happens in these pro matches is tons of spam comes through, you know, the Vipers often die when they cast that ult. But the Cosmic Divide protects the Viper. 30 seconds left. That's, you can see, that's actually why LG is playing hyper aggressive. They don't want this to happen. Well, Faze are definitely good at playing hyper aggressive as well as LG, so we'll see if they can beat that. And it is just a gunfight here. The rest comes through, back into a 2v2. Baby, it's pretty cool by Corey. Faking that out, leaving three players on this A site. But this is a B hit, and Baby Bay is dry peeking in. Well, Dazzle's ready for it at the back of the site, able to use the Omen TP to at least suggest that he might be out of that position, which is probably what you would do most of the time. But there's the re peek, and Dazzle converts a second frag. Part about Vipers and Astros being in the meta is the Omens play a little bit more like duels. And it's so fun to watch. Last player standing. Down, mid. Well, the uh, movement left. through mid there hasn't worked out too, too well here for Faze. Great timing found by Luminosity. Baby J, though, too far away from the spike, perhaps, to really make this one doable, I think, as that position is being reinforced right now. The Luminosity. Oh, there's the snake fight as well, so no access to the spike, really. Ooh, evidence. Oh, Viper Spear coming in through mid. Ban from elbow with the operator. There's two players backside here. Oh, ho, ho, the dodge coming through with the satchels. Oh, it's on the clock. I don't see how this is possible. Proto backside ready to go. There's that first trip. And that spike is now down on the ground. No one there to pick it up in time. It cannot be planted. That's it. We're going to overtime here. 12 12. Lutes are so aggressive on the defense. But oh, the gun barrel spotted. That's a freebie there for Baby Bay. And now, you know, Raucus will try to take the peaks. Able to get the snake bite out to protect Baby Bay. So, Luminosity can't gain any ground in mid. And they've lost two players already. Good trace coming through. Not really allowing too much here for Luminosity. Faze. Going to finish this one off now. A proto with the trade, but it's not going to work out. Faze pick up the round and of half on the defense. Luminosity clearly were expecting aggression. And... They didn't get it. They were forced themselves to actually push. Yeah, that was so weird. It was like both teams were countering the, the regulation plays, right? Now uh, pressure in mid. How much is there though? That's at least two players spotted. Oh, your boy Dre is so lucky oh, to be live here. No, Ban is so stuck. Ban is so stuck. Gets the kill on Corey though. The P comes through. The damage is good onto Raucus. But that's going to trigger the push here. Surely through towards uh, from B main into, B, the, into the B side. But actually... Slowing it down a little bit, our phase. They are not committing in as you might expect. And maybe that will help Baby Bay get a conversion in mid by ropes. But Luminosity, they're not 
They're trying not to overcommit here. They've realized that FaZe have slowed this down and reset the situation. And it's up to a proto now. He has to get some conversions out of this as he swings around the pillar. There's Ooh. a double. That's beautiful. 2v2 here. Tig on this one. Oh, see favored. No shot. FaZe is ready for this. Left. But Rockus has alt. Oh, Dash. Forward here from Baby Bay, looking to take the fights. I would have grabbed a spike here. Has to plant B. Take wary of the fake. Not overcommitting here. Baby Bay is eventually going to have to consider this upper position. That's exactly what's happening. Will Tig be able to read this spot though around hell? The timing is huge and the There's... They're going to have to push in front of the wall. That's what they're doing. They're going to take the fight spawned in. Oh, that's so small. What a response from them. No one is down on the side. Let's just go very deep into the spawn. And they're winning some of these battles as well. And this is going to cause issues for LG. They're spreading them out a little bit. Snake bite is going to spread them out a little bit more here. FaZe controlling these fights so well. Oh, per Oh, is your yours right behind it too. They break the dog and die. Oh dear. It's looking very damaging indeed. Ruin will likely look for a tag in the Viper ult. One of the few things that can counter this Viper ult on Breeze. God, the attacker kills right locked on mid hit. No Scary way. and got Zachary moving all the way through the back here with a huge flank through spawn as well, biding his time, catches Tig on the rope, and that is highly problematic here. The amount of pressure of Ban, the patience is panning out so well from Ban. And your boy Dre there also climbing through on the defense. And again, it comes down to the gunfights and looks like this time Lumin You can't it's like a, a blank agent, right? Like, you can always hear a slight difference in the footsteps, but those Yoru footsteps, you can recognize them if you pay attention. And that's not worked out. Nice catch from Baby Bay. Jesus. Those Very unfortunate in mid from your boy Dre. And that's that B-side under control. I really like this from FaZe. Biding their time, slow playing it towards that B-side. Oh, <laughs> nice shot from Baby Bay once again. With the daggers coming through. Another go of it, though. The cloud burst will make life somewhat uncomfortable. Classic is out. Might be good enough. Indeed it is. Able to pick up the gun as well. Operator for Baby Bay. That's a four. Your boy Dre, though, backside alone. How much can your boy Dre do from this position? Ooh, the shot missed. More chances here from your boy Dre. Have to updraft there. Baby Bay can't get that frag at the back of the site. Eventually, your boy Dre will go down. But it definitely caused some delay. With that forward toxic screen, things are going to be difficult here. Oh, but Baby Bay is able to get a pick just before it goes up. So FaZe already able to push some of these positions around the extremities, around mid. And they're closing in on this retake before it can even get started here for Luminosity. FaZe. There's just nothing you can do against all those aimers swarming him at that point. So maybe you are right. Maybe this is FaZe's home turf. Jesus. Oh, that's a... Uh... Yeah, a couple of trades early on towards that B side again. Bay's really hammering this one. It's been working so well for them. And I mean, starting off 4v4 like this is definitely a great place to be. You can see that we talked about the huge space on this map and the, how difficult rotations can be for the defenders. A 4v4 like this into a reset makes life even harder. And there goes the res. It's a huge Whoa. bait. And the bait's going to pay off here for Luminosity. Ooh, and Ban's actually going to play aggressively into this spot. Ooh. We've seen a lot of opening plays, and that's precisely the play that will reward Luminosity at the beginning of the round. And, I mean, the lockdown's going to come in, but damage has already been done here, so we'll see if there's any play to be had off of this. They're going to invest the Viper's Pit, too, and Zachary can't even get the spike planted. That's the Viper's Pit now gone. And it devolves into madness once more. The spike is on the ground, committed on that B site. A proto able to find one more. I mean, they're forced to try to retake this site. Raucus is the last person here trying to make something happen for Luminosity. Spot some of these players. Oh, I'm scared for him. Also, get tagged here. Baby Bay's just going in. The 
Very bloodthirsty with those Ooh. knives ready to go. The flank. Oh, they're just so exposed here on this A site. Luminos, the only down to two players here. Faze looking to finish this one off very strong indeed. And Tig, I mean, they know exactly where he is at this point. Oh, beautiful, strong start. And again, as you say, Sean, it like totally played counter to what had just worked. And BBJ. Yeah, it's looking pretty tough right now, but Baby J's done a remarkable amount of damage. And look at the flank. Boy, Dre. Oh my god. The flank is coming baby in baby. so fast from Corey. Yeah, and Baby Bay has also got a really good spot here as well. Oh, they're all coming for Corey though. Oh, the timing is really, really tight. Corey able to get out of the vision just in a time. There's a catch with the TIG, and suddenly he's starting to look pretty good here. Four phase on the way in, but Luminosi are the ones getting the kills. It's down to Rockus and Corey now as they try to come in together. And oh, your boy Dre with the drive by. Corey's in trouble here now. Ghost in hand. Both players against him in the cave and. Oh! Well, sticky job that's needed. And just they, they've halted this push, making its way onto the site. And the feather rotation from B has come through as well in mid. So it's a good look here for phase. Tig needs this frag, Dan. And he gets it on Zack! Oh, <laughs> the jumpy classic to finish it off. Love to see that one. Faze looking great on the defense right now. It's just Dazzle left, but not for too much longer. Baby J. Ooh, That's Corey pulled spotted. out Blaze Storm. Baby Bay doesn't care. Baby J does not care either. It would <laughs> appear and it's going to be an early 4v3 advantage for Faze. You know, lots of player on this mid position, but it just feels like... Both teams are playing deathmatch. And I got my money on phase in terms of deathmatch. Every day of the week, then. I'm going to go ahead and so ready pick for this. Corey. Yeah, I'm going to pick Corey. Whatever team Corey is on. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy who I want on my deathmatch team. Ooh. Ooh. Your boy Dre. A big surge here from Luminosity in that middle. Out of the map here. It's... It's actually looking quite no. good, but I just no. don't. Us ready to go. We'll see what he can do with that one. Zachary is going to lose the battle against the Proto, and Corey's going to have to swing into action with his Odin now. They have to get into the site, and there was no pick off of that Hunter Fury. Look where Faze is on the minimap, Dan. They just push through B, both of them. They're locking down oh. A before the hit even happens. What? Yeah, preemptive lockdown coming through. A Proto is doing all the damage anyway, just cleans out the site. Kick comes through. And the res in from your boy Dre, Zach, though, able to take down a Proto, so the numbers still stay the same at 3v3 as that spike ticks away. Luminosity trying to do what they can to hold on to this spike. We're on this flank, though, Dan. They're not ready yet. Jet's, Jet's going to die on the side of the head. There you go, Corey from behind is making life difficult here now for these players holding the spike. And I don't know if they're going to have time for this one. Corey with the flick is going to miss. Dazzle gets the pick, but... There's just nothing else to be done. I don't know how much Faze is going to be able to do with the weaponry that they have here. Look at this cheeky boost that the Sage is on right now. I love it. Over the Viper's Pit. Oh! Well, the pressure's coming through, though. Faze are going to make a good go of this one. Good weaponry or not, they will do their best here. Corey is dodging past the toxic screen. There's so much utility blocking vision, but still two quick kills coming through there for FaZe. And another one from Zach with that classic. They are finding all the value here. It's just as a 5 HP left. That spike tap the hold. This is a B split. And his ult gets a lot of info about that. And Zachary falls. The site is lost. Corey here. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, to do it all at the back of the site. It's looking great, though. Ooh, able to dodge the cabbage. And she does get shredded, but does enough to make it doable here. 3v3. Baby Bay on that operator still. Raucous with that vandal. Firepower is there. Dazzle does find great timings on these flanks. Oh, good start there, but here is that flank timing from Dazzle. Could Ooh. spoil everything. 2v2, they know what Tig is, and Dazzle at this point. They've got to win the battles. Oh, Baby Bay getting the frag right at the back of the side with the Operator. It's now down to Dazzle to prevent this run from happening. But oh. Zachary's in here, all the running in mid here. Trying to actually find a quick timing on the flank. It's a faster round here for Luminosity. This is it. Could be it. 
Faze opening things up nicely. The opening kills going to Faze. The trace coming through there from Luminosity to tie it up, but we talked about Zachary earlier. Really in a position to cause a lot of problems here for Luminosity. And there it is. Tig goes down. Headshot. Up to a Proto and your boy Dre. Definitely a safe pair of hands to leave it. This is kind of sketchy. 2-1-2 and... two two with the double flank. Ooh. It's not planted for him, Dan. That's going to go out here. Is Corey going to hold this all the way? He might actually do it. Oh, comes off of it. But yeah, boy. Great timings. So far from what we've seen. And... Hey. No it's going to get oh, caught no. by Dazzles. So we, we talked about the timing. Oh, this is such a difficult Viper's hit to deal oh, with. Oh, Zach is going through the elbow. Does take no? Wow, the old winners. Unbelievable. Luminosity doing everything right that they needed to do to win this round. He's going to handle it, Dan. The Yoru ult to save us all. <laughs> see what Corey can do. Baby J. Oh, that's just stunning work there with the Vandal. You will not kill my Corey there for support as well. Rez comes through. Be careful that, that could be a bait. Corey is in the nail ban to prevent that one from happening. But that's going to be a wrap. 12 12. Oh. And I thought BBA was about to just get like a 3k from that position. Great awareness by Dazzle. And again. Wow. Yep, that's that's uh, that's a great start from Luminosity. Dazzle's been. I, I've been really impressed by Dazzle. And from his CS days as well. That's going to get tagged at the back, but oh, there is a punish after Rob Baby J with a great double entry. And that's going to create all the space in the world for Faze here. Start this one off well, but Dazzle's still doing damage, pushing forward. Might have to just do this by himself. Oh, unlucky bounce on that the shot. Uh, yeah. Just get another 14-12. They have, they have looked to me... Like the team with the better grasp of the maps in this particular map so far, but honestly, they, I am so impressed with FaZe this game. Like it, yeah, it looks like they understand. Yeah, I totally agree. The fast ace with his in, man. They're going through the doors. Oh, baby, Jay's ready for that. Two quick defensive kills, and FaZe are off to an insanely good start. Oh man, it, it seems like it's just written in stone right now for FaZe. But with that said. Got the search hammer out here from Dazzle and a Proto trying. Proto what they one can here on the site. One frag, he gets these seekers. One he is remaining. creeping though by the pyramid. Zachary's gonna take down Dazzle's after a Proto. The flashes are coming through. This is so difficult, and Corey's gonna take him down.